And welcome back to the Australian Schools Championship live on rugby.com.au for this clash between Western Australia and the ACT. And um, I'm Patrick Folks, live on rugby.com.au and I'm joined by rugby.com.au journalist Marty Cambridge who's uh, managed to find his way from the sideline up here in the commentary position. And Marty, great to see you promoted. Important clash here for the ACT and WA and particularly for the AB ACT because they're a chance of finals tomorrow on, on Saturday. Absolutely the surprise packets of the tournament so far getting two fantastic come from behind wins one over Queensland and one over New South Wales yesterday if they do win this game against WA they will top their pool and go on to play the final. Let's look at WA we've got Victor Harris, William Tui, Harry Danes, Lapo Bagazi, Liam van der Hayden, John Martin Stewart, Carlo Tizano, Brody McCaskill, Reese Anapu, Sam Barsby, Walker Smith, Luke Capenny, Nika Morhew, Grayson Marica, and Christian Bavadra. And uh, we'll just get a look at the ACT team as well, just running you through their starting 15. Um, as the ACT, we just see WA in a huddle, and the ACT, we've got Jean Vincent de Marson, Nicholas. Katster Siajanis, Zane Hogan, Zane Marolt, Jack Kearns, Lachlan Osborne, Connor Smith, Will Holland, Joel Atkins at Scrum Half, Isaac Crow, both lads from Dramalan College, Pataya Lafalo, William Gola, Goddard, Lincoln Smith, Tom Haddard, and Brendan Jimenez, who was huge for the ACT yesterday. And uh Getting ready for this kickoff, which is not too far away. So the ACT to start. And here we go in this clash between the ACT and WA. And there's Western Australia and uh, WA with the ball. That's Luke Capenny. He's um, got the first hit up for his side. And. Uh, Western Australia looking to run the ball out of their own half at this stage. That ball just gone to ground. Just went out, uh, just past the outstretched arms of Sam Barsby. And uh, disappointing start for WA, Marty. Yeah, the WA side just losing their way there a little bit at the start. It's always important to, to try and exit first off the off the first restart of the game to get some field position. Hopefully WA side can show us a little bit in this game. They were a little bit disappointing in their opening too, although they were in it uh, in both games. They just couldn't get away with the result. Set. So the first scrum, and that's gone straight down. And just a step closer. Same mark. Marty, it's a beautiful day here. Crouch. So Western Australia. With this first scrum and Marty's just saying it's a it's a beautiful day here in Sydney. It's set. Beautiful winter's day. It's the balls by Joel Atkins for the ACT. And we've got a penalty to the ACT coming. Pushing too high. The Western Australian pack. So an opportunity for potentially for points here, Marty. Would you would you start with points? And they will. So would you agree with that decision? <laughs> Interesting from the ACT, just because they've been um, so good for, for the first two games. Although yesterday they did do the same thing against New South Wales. So they took the points at every opportunity. So it could just be a, a tactic, a calming tactic, and showing some respect to the WA defence. So this is Jimenez. Just lining up his kick. Oh, sorry. This is William Goddard for the kick, my mistake. From Canberra Grammar School. <coughs> and that kick is high and looks good and it's over. So first points of the game. And that's Will Goddard with the penalty. So that's the ACT three leading WA yet to score. 
in the opening two, two minutes of this match, now entering the third. And I'm just looking at Victor Harris just in front of us, Marty from Western Australia. He's from Iron McCormack Catholic College. And he was huge the other day for WA. And balls high. And this ACT side. They've shown what they can do. Brody McCaskill just taking that up into contact. And sorry, that was Will Holland taking that up into contact. The ACT looking to get it out. And here's a kick. It's gone out and that was carried over so a mistake there by Jimenez from St Edmunds College in Canberra it's about the first mistake Jimenez has made in three days of footy Paddy he scored two tries and set one up to get the ACT over New South Wales yesterday I'm sure he'll be able to bounce back <laughs> so the first line out of the day and that's stolen by the ACT and they've done well to pinch that. And what a good start from Western Australia if you can't win your own set piece this early. But well counted by WA. They've done very well there. Always disappointing to, to lose your set piece, but it is how you react after that. And they've done very well to, to keep the ball in there at that breakdown and secure a scrum. Carlo Tizano from Trinity College, the Western Australian flanker. And he is very much firing up his troops. Like every good flanker, Paddy, into everything in these early stages is Carlo Tizano. Um, I'm certainly liking that intent from the young man. As Reese Anna, uh, Anapu from Lakeland Senior High School. Look to feed the six WAs, we just have a reset. Couple of, couple of parents looks like on that far side of the field. Um, I can hear a few calls from the crowd and there might be some, some family that's flown over from Western Australia. So welcome to this fair state. You can see them there on, the, on your screen. Set. You'll hear the vocal WA parents throughout the game, the game I'm sure. As uh, ball's fed, and that's a solid scrum from WA. They'll keep it at the back, and Anapu gets it out. That's an excellent run by Sam Barsby. And uh, taken into contact. And WA. Van der Hayden with the hit up. Short ball, and that's Victor Harris, who had to work hard to catch that. Almost lost it. Anapu and uh, Barsby Tackle release. takes that into contact and may have pinched this the ACT but didn't release the player. No clear release. So important if you're, you're joining us live on rugby.com.au, sure. welcome. But yeah, if you're going sure. for that pilfer, which a lot of these kids who, these players coming through the system, Marty, love to do, you've got to release the man first before you dive in. That's, that's correct, Paddy. It's a fantastic part of our game is that pilfer and the breakdown contest. It's something that we all enjoy. And Australian Rugby Union has been really focusing Start on that the five, in the past, uh, past little while. We've seen guys like David Pocock, Michael Hooper, more recently for the Wallabies, Richard Hardwick, of course, a WA product, all very good at that breakdown contest. And Richard Hardwick would have, would have played at this, uh, this tournament for WA schools. I know we played Western Australian under 20s. So, opportunity to equal now. And Christian Bavadra from Darling Range Sports College levels the scores. So it's WA 3, ACT 3. So, restart there by Will Goddard. Vardra kicks high and that ball's got snow on it. Jimenez just loses it over the line. Unlucky from Jimenez, but he put himself in the right position, Marty. But maybe could have just let that one go and see what happened. We do like the intent though from the from the young man there. Really wants to get his hands on the ball and get involved in the game early. We do like to see that, but now the, the Western Australians get a chance to to work it from halfway. They'll go to that back pod and just straight. This is a 
better line of attack from Brody Mc McCaskill from WA. Western Australia looking the goods as they go out wide, and this is much better from the men from the West. A short ball off the back of the, the ruck there. WA keep the ball in hand. Victor Harris, his attack at the line, gets out of one tackle, but brought to ground by his opposite number. Oh, and the ball's been lost there by Bavadra. Here goes WACT. Now kick long, that's a decent hoof. And the chase is on. Who's going to get there first? It's Western Australia, but just as a sea of ACT players gather. And now the count is on for WA. This is gas if he can get there. He kicks through. Nika Morkiu. And now here we go with McCaskill from the ACT. And it's end to end footy here at the Australian Schools Championship. WA, Victor Harris affecting the attack, but ooh, just lifted, I think, beyond the horizontal. Time Number off. One. Dangerous tackle. Not about horizontal. Yeah. That's a yellow card. Oh, the prop there from Victor Harris with WA. He told the referee it wasn't him. He's pleaded. And he's got the wrong man, perhaps, uh, the referee. Maybe a tough call, but we know nowadays, Paddy, in modern football, it's all about protecting the player. And he can't be lifting above the horizontal. Ab absolutely. Yellow card there. So 10 minutes in the bin for Victor Harris from Western Australia. Hold! Oh. Oh. SCT. WA have lost the player to the sin bin. Sin bin is in this game for seven minutes. So that's a seven minute sin bin in this game. Due to the shortage, shorter match time, 30 minute halves. And that's a knock on. It's a bit scrappy footy there from both sides. Just what? need to short things up and simplify them. I am liking the intent from both teams here, Paddy. We saw a great passage of play uh, running straight down to the attacking side for, for the ACT. And the WA boys willing to counter straight away, not willing to clear the ball by foot. I'm enjoying there is some attacking rugby on display here at St. Ignatius. Absolutely, yes, we have a couple of changes because of Victor Harris in the bin. So, Thiago Valentim from McCormick Catholic College in WA, or Perth, comes on. It's great to see McCormick. They're producing quite a few rugby players. So, the rugby department over there working hard. That's what we like to see. As, um, Crouch. Oh. Fine. Set. Here we go, the A WA on that far right hand side. No hands now. An opportunity for Western Australia. No, off me! Go into that short, and that's an interesting pass. The line was good, but the pass probably shouldn't have been on. So now the ACT can rescue the situations. We'll come back for the knock-on. I'm not sure I've ever seen a more forward pass than that. If there was ever, <laughs> if, the, if there was ever a case for a deliberate forward pass, the referee had it there. That that's, went about um, four metres forward. I thought I was watching the Patriots for a second. <laughs> That's really I just told your first hooker. Um, space interesting. In oh, yeah. Gaps a bit big. So right. if you just come forward a bit. You, know, you do watch a lot of footy. Just upgrade a good talk. Good talk. Good, good, good come good down. I think this is the third scrum of the day. Go, go, Carlo. Pressure. Look, your hand. Johnny, go with them. Just last, boy. Just last. Crouch. Fine. Hold there. Set. Hold. So, a good solid feed there by Joel Atkins. And uh, his best pass, but he gets the ball away. The ACT go on that short side. 
WA have plenty of numbers, but they managed to steal that 15 metres and knock on. He's had a look at the defence. I think that was Zane Hogan. Okay, right, I'll come round. So another scrum, packed down. And, uh, neither side really establishing any clear dominance at the moment, Mark. The WA side showing some good line speed there to put the pressure on the ACT. Neither side, as you say, Pat, settling into this game just yet, with nearly 15 minutes gone in the first half. The WA side, though, with a good opportunity to work that set piece just inside the attacking half. Crouch. Western Australia just badgering away at the moment. At the defence. Set. So Reese Anapu feeds the ball. Better scrum from WA. And that's Barsby. Barsby with the little offload to Maraca. Oh, that ball's been stolen questionably. And just as I say that, the penalty goes. There must have been a hand in there somewhere. Yeah, I think he's pinned, pinned him for not rolling away there, Paddy. Could be another chance with three points for Christian Bavadra. And he does tell the referee that he's calling for the kicking tee as it gets run out to him from the WA bench. Forty metres out, directly in front. Not much of a breeze around Pat. You would fancy Bavadra would have no trouble with the distance here this morning. It is just a slight breeze. It sort of comes and goes here this morning. Certainly when in the first match of the day between Victoria and the combined states, the breeze certainly picked up. It seems to have died at the moment as Bavadra kicks. And he has got it. So an excellent kick there by the Western Australian fullback. And it's game on between these two sides. And Great tactical choice there by WA. Remember, they are down to 14 men. So it's WA 6, ACT 3. Bavadra kicks over the top. He's got it. And he takes that very well. He's going to have a little crack. So this is Jimenez. And uh, gets out of one tackle. Shows the offload. And here's McAllister. Brought to ground. Sorry, that's Will Holland. Short ball by the ACT. Keeping it going on that left-hand side. Atkins. That's a solid hit in defence. That was Zane Marolt. Oh, he's just gassed it through the line. Does he get out of the tackle? He's just brought to ground. But that was a clean out from the side by Joel Atkins. Just needed to come through the gate a bit more, Marty. Looked like he was through there, the, the centre, as he, as you said, Pat. He put his foot down and yeah, a little bit of ill discipline there from the ACT when they were on attack. Looked like they were just starting to string some phase play together as Bavadra looks for touch, but it's not out. Here's Jimenez. It's going backwards. Picks it up, Bavadra came steaming through, and here goes Jimenez, he's just backing himself to go through the line, he's just brought to ground. Knock on. In the contact by the looks of it. No shortage of confidence from Jimenez in these first three days. He loves a run and loves that counter-attacking runs from the from the kicks, the WA. Not afraid of um, the old stitch-up I hear as well, telling our producer he only spoke Spanish and spoke in Spanish on. to him for a live camera interview yesterday, but uh, that's just become quite apparently he does speak English. <laughs> a good young kid too, just 16 in grade 11. So, um, yeah, huge future. Yeah, huge for future hopefully for Brendan Jimenez in, uh, in the rugby as Victor Harris comes back on as WA go back to full confidence. So the ACT. WA now with the scrum. To be fed in by Reese Anapu. Oh, solid scrum. This is going to be contested. It's been pinched by ACT. And that's great effort there by the men from the nation's capital. 
Here goes Goddard. Attacks the line. Well. This ACT side. Holland. Gets the side just outside the 22. So just outside WA's red zone. They go around the back. And Isaac Crow. The ball's on the far left hand side. This is for the corner. Can they get the first try? It's going to be bundled into touch. And that was Bavadra. He managed to wrestle Crow just over that line. Fantastic defense there on the line. A definite try saver from Bavadra and the covering tackler. Still under a lot of pressure though, WA camped well inside their 22 with this line out. That ball's gone well over the top and uh, straight into the outstretched arms of Anapu. So WA. Uh, and now there's a penalty. Five on Missed that one, Marty. Lachlan Osborne there, Paddy with his hands all over the ball, mm. giving WA no chance of getting that one out. And they're going for their a line out of their own now, the ACT. Perhaps channeling the Brumbies for a, a rolling more, Paddy. Yeah, well, it is their signature move. But uh, coaching changes at the Brumbies. So I wonder if it still will be. Always been one of the pioneers of tactical rugby and that's not a great line out by either side and that's been wrestling to the ground Holland goes into battle for the ACT W8 will clear their lines oh, that's a great take by Haddon Will Goddard goes for it Tackle release There's Jimenez the ball's loose at the back Jimenez gets it again Gets out of one tackle, steps. He's got such electric feet. Oh, huge run at the line. That was Maralt. Hands will help the ACT here. Here we go, an attacking opportunity. And that's that ball to Tom Haddard. Brought to ground. Goddard goes into support. Atkins. It's serving well at scrum up, and that's a solid clean out. You're not going to get much better than that. Advantage being played to the ACT. Going to that left is Holland. His trademark white headgear. It's fine. No advantage. Penalty. Coming back. I think it was offside. Late tackle there, referee called Patrick. Oh, late from tackle. 19 blue which is Connor O'Sullivan from Scotch College in WA. Pinned there for a late tackle. And you're listening to the thoughts of Marty Cambridge from rugby.com.au and myself, Patrick Folks, and we've been bringing you this Australian Schools Championship live across our channels this week, and still plenty of matches today. And of course, the finals date is more for all important positions, and of course, this tournament will be used as the benchmark to select. Um, the Australian schoolboys side. Two tests this year against New Zealand, New Zealand Barbarians in Australia this year. WA6, ACT3, can the ACT extend? Get in the lead. Here's that trademark ball. And it looks like they're going for the line. Just holding it up the back. They've trucked it up really well and that's over. And it's a try. We called it about two minutes ago, Paddy. The the Brumbies, we know, love the rolling mall. And the schoolboys down there from ACT channeling the Super Rugby franchise. And gee, it looked good, didn't it? We'll just have a look at this replay, see if we can pick up a number, because it was an T. absolute T. mesh of bodies. It pops up on your screen. Yellow. There you go, you see the Brumbies forwards start to rumble. Yeah, oh, yellow one. The yellow. Back. I think that's Lincoln Smith, he may have the ball. And uh, sure. continued pressure on the WA forwards just couldn't muster enough to push them back and force them to go to the backs. And over for the try. I'm going to award the try I'm a little piece of paper to Lincoln Smith. I'm not sure if that's correct, but we'll, we'll get that checked. We'll get a confirmation on that, Paddy. But we do love to see you. a good forwards try. We've seen a lot of running rugby so far in the first two days of competition but not so much from the forwards. But we do love seeing that rolling ball from the ACT side, who have been undefeated in the first two days of competition. 
So Will Goddard is going to kick for the ACT. We have got confirmation that the try scorer was Connor Smith from Morris College in the ACT. Oh, and that's just got inside the posts. Excellent conversion there by Goddard. So that takes the score now to. ACT 10. WA 6. And the restart. Holland is going to take this. Does well. Victor Harris backed on the field. Brings him to the ground. How good this defence from WA is pushing the questions. And the SCT is Jimenez, kicks over the top. We're going to throw that ball on the inside, and here goes Bavadra. Gets out of one tackle. Just ticking on that right hand side, and this is Tizano, the fired up flanker from the west. And a pick and go! By Tizano, gets an extra, pinches an extra few metres from WA. Making sure they're keeping it alive on that right hand side. And this is McCaskill. Ball just hitting the line, and that's, uh, don't argue there. Tizano. ACT. Doing the best to roll away. And they may have pinched this, I make, I'll correct myself there. So they go to that left hand side, and Advantage. Free blue offside. Sydney, come in. Referee Stewart Seller for offside here, Paddy. Short pass. Got advantage, nine. Atkins. Pass over the top. And Haddard kicks Bend over. Bavadra's got to move. The bounce is not kind to him. And here we go for the ACT. Number 23, Lincoln Smith. There is a rock. They're going to that right. There's an opportunity if they can move the ball. They've got numbers. They just need to attack the line, the ACT. WA defense scrambles. They keep on that short side and they look and go and that's the try. They're gonna score it underneath the posts. Peter Lafoe from Erendale College and Good patience there by the ACT. I was worried they may have blown it, but the WA defence asked questions when they had to cover. Yeah, Connor Smith came back on the inside there, but they did find a chance to spread it wide. I thought that maybe Fred Cahier should have gone early with the pass out to the left, but we do say, see Lefau cross here. Dummy's putting it down and then makes it easier for his kicker by jogging it around. But we saw just before that, Paddy, how cruel a game rugby can be. That kick downfield from Jimenez was good. Bavadra had it covered and a bad bounce saw it pop back into the arms of the ACT side. Yeah, the unlucky bounce. Costing WA in defence. The wind certainly picks up here for Goddard for his kick. So Goddard looks at the posts. And the kick is high. It looks good. And it's over. So Goddard on song this morning with the boot. And that's ACT 17. They lead WA 6. The ACT, the ACT side rather looking to keep their perfect record intact here at the Australian Schoolboy Championship. They won both their games on day one and two of competition and they are looking good here against WA. Wherever you're watching us live on rugby.com today, you're welcome. We are at St Ignatius College Riverview here in Sydney. And if you live in Sydney or the surrounding areas, all are welcome to come down and watch the Australian Schools Championship today and finals day on Saturday. Um, and it is free entry. 
And I can account for an amazing barbecue as the ball goes out wide to the ACT. Connor Smith. So, a solid hit. And here's Jimenez. Oh, he's been hit hard. And we've got an opportunity for a try here. This could be a charge down. This is fantastic effort by the ACT Isaac Crow. He has stolen that try like a thief in the night and brilliant athleticism to chop that down from a charge down, Marty. Unbelievable, Paddy. Great work from Isaac Crow there. He was the first to react for the charge down. The, the WA side trying to clear their lines as Jimenez gets crashed there as he clears the ball in Bavadra. A great charge down there. We'll have to get a number on that. Nice that Crow makes the most of it. And the ACT bench was very, very happy with that one. And that happened just near the ACT bench and they certainly let people know they were happy with that. A few cheers. <laughs> Rightly so. And after a fairly tight opening to this game, the ACT, the ACT side are starting to develop quite a gap on the scoreboard. That's their third try of the morning. So got on. Looks towards the posts. Standies himself. And the ball is good. Fantastic kick by this young man. That is as good as it gets from Goddard there. You won't see a sweeter strike of the football today. Really? That's a huge call, Marty. Not afraid, Plenty of, a, of, footy not to afraid come. of a huge call. But uh, Goddard there with it. That's why it. you're frequently wrong. An absolute yes. sweet <laughs> kick there. That's the WA team. <laughs> Restart. Oh, well taken there by the ACT. Jimenez kicks over the top. And that is a great touch finder. He's found plenty of space out there. Great tactical kick. Oh, that's half time. Um, so it's ACT 24. Western Australia 6 as uh, we make some shuffling. We're just going to look at the stats popping up on your field now. So you can see three conversions and uh, a penalty goal by the ACT. Plus three tries have led to their impressive lead on the scoreboard, 24 to 6. WA, though, they've been unlucky not to score more. Um, and we'll go to match highlights in the second and just have a look. But it's been a, a tight first half between these two sides. And there's not too much to separate them. As uh, just see the players just have a breather and get a few minutes with the coaches. So we'll just have a look at uh, some of the match highlights coming up. You can see as both sides start to have a chat and to reflect on the first half. A lot of work to be done by the, the Western Australian side as we look at the highlights from the first half. And you can see that it was the... Um, an early kick that led to the, um, the first points of the match, and that was by the ACT. Will Goddard with the kick, and this is the setup you can see. And uh, this, the forward efforts by the ACT schoolboys team, just emulating the Brumby senior side a bit. Um, something I'm sure Dan McKellar, the Brumby's coach, wouldn't mind seeing as uh, they jot that ball down. And uh, it was an impressive feat of an athleticism with these two sides, particularly the try to Isaac Crow when he jotted that down. And uh, we're going to have a word with the Australian schoolboys coach, Pat Langtree, who's uh, certainly going to have his work cut out for him this tournament. He's going to be selecting 
were part of the selection panel to, to pick his side to take on New Zealand schools later in this year. And of course the Australian Barbarians team as well. So there's going to be plenty of schoolboy rugby, not only this week, but throughout the year. And rugby.com will be with you. And um, I'm certainly, for one, and I'm sure you will be looking forward to that as we head down to Marty Cambridge from rugby.com to do my fellow co commentator has made his way downstairs to chat to Pat Langtry. Here with one of the most important men at St Ignatius College, Pat Langtree, the, the coach of the Australian Schoolboys. Pat, you must be very impressed with the, the quality out here. No, I don't know about being important, but certainly, yeah, very, very happy with uh, with what we're seeing, but more happy with the improvement that we're seeing in, in individual players and, and teams as the, as the tournament progresses. You've been involved with the Schoolboys competition for a lot of years now, head coach for more than seven years. What have you seen as the improvements over those sort of times that you've been involved? Well, the game's changed, and uh, the way it's coached and the way players prepare has become a lot more professional. Uh, standards are a lot higher, skill development things that kids come from and programs around the country nationally are all sort of working together a lot better than what they have been historically and, and as an outcome we hope we're getting some uh, some improvements on field as well. And as a selector and the coach of course, what are some of the, the things you look for in the players out here during this week? Oh mate, it's a tough job, you know. Um, teams come together, many of them only met sort of a week ago. Uh, some of the Queensland boys have had a limited number of games of footy and depending on their competition. So we have to take all that into account. We also have a very uh, very capable opposition that we're up against in two games, uh, Fiji and certainly New Zealand. And so trying to get the mixture right, trying to get the balance right and uh, just to be sure that you know, at the end of the day little things really matter as well. Yeah. Well best of luck mate, a tough job picking from these teams here and uh, enjoy the rest of the week. Okay, many thanks. Cheers. Stay tuned, rugby.com.au, the second half between WA and ACT just around the corner. And that was Marty Cambridge, who uh, he can commentate, he can run down and do an interview, can change his shirt all in the space of about eight seconds. And uh, great to hear the, the words there from the Australian schoolboys coach as uh, we're getting ready for this second half. And we can see the ACT sides. ACT side just having a chat and we look at um, WA as well that is splitting the forwards and backs. Bit of work here to be done by the two teams. And we're getting ready to go. And wherever you've been joining us here live on rugby.com.au, we thank you very much for tuning in and watching some solid rugby, some future generation of Wallabies players, Super Rugby players from our Australian provinces as well as the Australian Sevens team. We had the Australian Sevens coach Andy Friend out here yesterday just eyeing off the next generation of talent. So an important part of the rugby pathways. These guys will graduate into state programs, Super 20s and eventually potentially into the Australian Under 20s as well as just one part of the pathway to gold. Not the only part, but certainly a part of it. As uh, we're getting ready for the second half, the ACT have gotten ready. They're ready to go for this second half. And, and uh, Western Australia just taking that extra few seconds to say a thing or two about what they need to do in this, this game. And uh, I'm loving the tune selection over the loudspeaker, Marty. What do you think? Fantastic. They kicked off the day with a bit of Elton John and then Billy Joel. I've heard Michael Jackson, the king of pop. It's all happening down here at St. Ignatius. If you're, if you're into your rugby and into your classic hits, there's nowhere else to be here. <laughs> what a duo. It? Rugby and classic hits. We should actually put on some more contemporary music maybe, but hey, that's just me. I'll head up there in a bit. DJ Paddy Fogs as well as the commentator. We do like an all-rounder here at rugby.com.au. We're ready for this second half to get underway. <laughs> Sam Barsby kicks off for Western Australia. And the ACT with the ball. And this is Holland. Let's get a couple of metres. It's number 21 for the ACT, Joel Atkins, just making a few metres there. And here's a better run from the ACT. Atkins finds his man Gilmore has made his way on in the second half from Erindale College. 
Not too much on out wide here. Jimenez has to make something out of nothing. No one outside him, really. Kick over the top. And that's well taken by Capenni, who returns the favour. Oh, and that's an excellent kick by Capenni. Brilliant work by the Western Australian back. Just the start the WA side would have been after in this second half, Paddy. Getting some good field position. They can put a lot of pressure on this ACT line out now and maybe try and get a turnover and hold the ball down in that red zone. Oh, well leapt in the line out and under no real pressure there. ACT look to run it out. Let's get some position before going for the kick and Jimenez throws it out wide and it's going to be a kick over the top. Well taken, Capenni throws the ball to Barsby. Arnu. Oh, this is great hands here from WA. If they can move the ball, there's an opportunity out wide to make some metres and they, they take it. A little show and go by Moore Hugh. This could be a more unless they're careful. Must release the player is the call. The ball's good for WA. Here we go, Western Australia, keep it alive. Maraca, Maraca with a couple extra metres. The left hand side and they go, Barsby. Here's Anapu. <coughs> ACT just holding WA out in defence. Not too much on at the moment, Barsby throws a flat pass. That was to Jackson Pugh. It's gonna be a more. Comes to ground. Ball's good for WA. Throws the ball out wide. There's an opportunity here for Western Australia. They look to move it. They find the man on the inside. That was Tizano. Is he over? He's short. And it's a try. Through a mesh of bodies. He scores. We'll just get the number for you. I think that was Tizano. You called it, Paddy. There was plenty of room down that far side. If they could just move the ball, which they did, Tizano came up just short. Just we'll have to watch the replay to Replay find coming up now. Exactly who got the five-pointer for the WA side with a fantastic start to the second half, just what they were after. Well, whoever it was, it was good effort by WA, and they've made a statement early in this second half to make a game out of this. So we'll have the kick. Ah, uh, it was Brody Mackerskill with the try there, Marty. Just hearing over the loudspeaker. Another one from Aaron Moore Catholic College over there in WA. There's plenty of rugby talent coming out of Aaron Moore Catholic College. Yeah, Eight excellent. of the 23 from the WA side. Yeah, excellent work there by Aaron Moore. And hopefully there's a few teachers crowning around watching their, their lads play today. Well, it is school holidays, I guess. And the kick is not going to find the distance. Um, so we'll leave that score at Western Australia 11. ACT 24. So narrowing the gap. We saw in that first half, Paddy, the the, the WA side played really well for the first 15 minutes or so, and then the ACT side run over the top of them as we see Ooh. WA drop it off the restart. Christian Bavadra has been strong for WA today, and he's from Darling Range Sports College. A mix-up there I imagine between... that's a fairly serious sporting school if you got that in the name. Crouch. And uh, that's the replacement. We'll just get the number of who's coming off. Is that... Uh, Stay here. Set. Solid scrum here. Set. And that's twisted a bit. But Atkins finds his man Crow. And that ball's been lost. Penalty for offside. The referee playing advantage there for not pushing straight in scrum ah, against WA sorry. there. Thanks for that correction, Marty.
just going straight around one side. So Aki's so just kicking for the corner. First to get the reward. Okay. And uh, <laughs> the ACT making a statement. They need that bonus point victory. So a line out here for the ACT. Will they maul it again? They do. It's worked effectively for them in the first half. And they start to rumble the ACT forwards. They're very close to the line. I think that ball's been lost, and it has been. So not strong ball security finishing that job off, Marty. Just when they looked like they were going to cross the line to get another try. A little bit of poor ball handling there. We want to go to some grass over here. Are you okay to go to some grass? And we see another scrum just on the five metre line as the referee moves it to find somewhere a little bit more. A little more stable underfoot. Push, everyone, push, 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 push. Come on, let's go. Push it off. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'm going to go. Scrum just moving a couple of metres in field. Crouch. Western Australia. Under pressure once again. So another reset, Marty and Crouch. Western Australia will be looking to clear the ball out of here pretty quickly. Fine. Set. So a penalty to WA. The same reasoning as he gave the penalty the other way just a moment ago. He's pinned the the ACT front row for not pushing straight in the scrum. I do agree. That's why I got that penalty. And that kick is high. And uh, just takes out the uh, little little support van we have next to the camera deck. There's four, four. So William Tui to throw in for WA. He goes to his second pod, and that's uh, well taken in the end. And Western Australia have got options left and right. Good meters there by WA. Here's Barsby. Oh, good, good offload there by Barsby, and he's kept that ball light, and the attacking option is there, but Tui throws a brilliant pass, the hooker. That's what you want to see. Barsby wants to shift. He sends that ball to the right. To the left, rather. Not a great pass to Barsby. He has to move around, and Smith. Capenny just brought to ground. Anu finds Barsby, short ball. So we're playing advantage to the ACT. We've managed to pinch this, and that's a solid clean out. No advantage, deemed by the referee. The WA side not afraid to throw the ball around there inside their own half. They're going side to side a little bit there. The, the old adage that you must go forward to go, to go wide. Not being adhered to for WA, they're going wide straight away. Makes for an exciting running style nice. of rugby. Oh, but the ACT straight. Just went straight around the corner. Oh, line right. speed there, so right up teams, in the face pre -grain. of WA, yeah. causing push the knock to get on. The reward. All right. Stay straight. The referee has a quick chat with both front rows about trying to get this scrum going well. So, Joel Atkins to feed this in for the ACT as uh, men from the nation's capital look set to make a couple of substitutions. Stuart Seller about to come onto the field. The ACT have the ball. CT. 
This is good hands from the young Brumbies. Oh, that has been pinched. And they were lucky there, Western Australia. Excellent work at the breakdown. Counter rock's good as Barsby kicks over the top. It's been carried over, though. Oh, and he's got the bounce perfectly. I think the win may have helped him, forgetting that the ball had been carried, but he's done well. Time off is the call as a couple of subs are made. Shin Vincent de Marson from Smedson. It's college, makes his way on in the front row. Will Holland with a good stint as well. Pat comes to the sidelines. Oh, and that's been knocked backwards. Not excellent as uh, Atkins recovers from his mistake. And it's a couple extra metres. ACT forward secure it. Slow ball, no halfback. Well cleaned out by the ACT and they pick and go on this short side. Throw that ball out wide. That's well met in defence. There was numbers forming there for the ACT, and that was Zano with the tackle. Boys from Canberra going backwards at the moment. So they kick over the top with no other options available. You called Mark too late. You've got to call it earlier. You can't just wait and see your options before calling Mark. But the WA managed to recover and run it back in. That's good movement on the inside. An attempted intercept, and that'll be taken from an offside position. Not a position to regather. That was a bit unlucky. I'm a 19 white. So Western Australia will kick for the sidelines and try and get some metres here. All still good. Not fine touch. That was for two Lafia. Knock on. Hearing from the ACT coaching staff, they're yelling at the boys to stick to their patterns. So they seem to get away from what they were doing so well at the end of that first half. Well, we're 24 11. And there's about 17 minutes left to go in this match. It's still anyone's game if the ace, if WA can get a couple of tries and make a shake of it. The scrum directly in front of us. Solid wheel, but WA have the ball. It's uh, well taken by Tazano. It's over the advantage line. On that left, and the ball's thrown on the inside, and that was McCaskill. Western Australia. Still holding on to the ball. Good run here by WA. And that ball's gone backwards, but it's been kicked through by the ACT. Needed the bounce. Walker Smith. He's had a lot of involvement in this game, but he gets his hands on the pill. They keep it on that short side, knowing that making some meters down there. Need to find something soon, and there's a breakaway from WA1 to beat Man on the inside. That is a try. He'll jot it down under the posts. Fantastic onto enterprising play from the men from the West. And they're having a bit of a shake. Marty Cambridge. Well, they had to be the next to score, didn't they, Pat? You said it's anybody's anybody's game. It really is now. As we check the replay, they come out, they switch back to the left-hand side. It's just a missed tackle there from the ACT, and the ball spilled out, and they pick and go straight through the middle of the ruck and an easy inside ball. And we'll get a number for the try scorer who just runs it around, making it much easier for his kicker. 24-16 with a kick to come, which you think they should convert, making it 24-18. That was Jackson Pugh who scored the try as the kick is successful. So, excellent work by the men from the West. So it's WA 18, ACT 24. 
So we've got it down to within a converted try. So this is going to make things interesting now. And that's a very low kick by Goddard. He's kicked it high. Well taken by Isaac Crow. To Jimenez. He's bumped into the tackle and brought to ground. They're stacking up here the ACT, but a little fatigue coming into the game now for both sides. We've got to remember these teams did play yesterday as well. It's all part of the fun of this national championship. These are the backup days, so the legs will be hurting now. This is when your bench comes in hand, Marty Cambridge. Absolutely, Paddy. The benches from both sides so important in the last 15 minutes of this game. Remembering, of course, that a win for the ACT will put them on top of their pool and a guaranteed spot in Saturday's final. Bonus point win, to clarify. It has to be a bonus point win. As that ball goes back. That was Thomas Isles. Here's an opportunity for the ACT to get it out to Jimenez. We know how important he can be in the last few minutes. I'm seeing him yesterday. Throws the ball on the inside. That was Goddard. Atkins keeps the ball in hand, these two. Atkins again. Finds Lincoln Smith. Oh, this is a great run by Harry Quinlan. Just gets a couple extra metres. ACT looking for that crucial fourth try. Ooh, and a forward pass. Forward pass. Scrum. Blue ball. 13 to go. Get tired, get tired. Absolutely. Good boys. How long was it? 12 and a half to go. Tight, sink, sink now. West, west, yeah, west. Let's go, boys. So we'll have a scrum. Crouch. Just outside WA's Five. 22. Set. Steady! Oh, that scrum's <laughs> gone everywhere, and that'll be a penalty to the ACT. Junior Brumby's making a statement with that scrummage. The front row from the WA side has struggled at times during this match. The referee there just explaining that front row didn't hold up to the pressure from the ACT front row. So Thomas Haddard kicks for the corner. Just your so the line out well within WA's red zone and this is when the ACT need to keep cool heads if they want to score. Oh, no. Nah. WA get the ball. He goes Arnu. He's not held. He's still going. He's got a man on the outside but he's isolated. Oh, and he's thrown it straight into the hands of Haddard. Jimenez will kick, it's out on the full. He's under a lot of pressure. Maybe not a bad outcome considering. But I'm sure they would have loved a few more metres out of that. We're having some substitutions, so... Lachlan Lonigan from, Trist, uh, from Trinity Christian School comes on for the ACT. And that win, Marty, certainly has picked up in the last couple of minutes. Ball's good for the ACT. Oh, that's an excellent work by Holland. Gets his side a few minutes. Oh, and he's found a gap. That's an excellent work. They're still going, the ACT. Great run. And Isaac Crow it was a knock on. Time off as a couple of subs are coming on. One of the WA players needing some attention from the medical staff Boy. as they, as they jog out. So the HCT scoring three tries. WA with two. Penalty each to each side. WA side not going away here, Paddy. You've seen it in their two opening games too. They haven't come away with the wins, but they've played right up until the final yes. whistle and found themselves oh, in it uh, right at the end. You're right. 
I wouldn't expect oh, anything yeah. less from the men from the Don't West. Understand what I'm trying to say to you about that? So hips coming up. Yeah, keep your hips straight. Stay straight. Easy. Yeah, no worries. So, come down for a scrum. Right but so just having a breather and. Body out. Time's on. Scrum blue. Time's back on. Time's back on. We get ready for this scrum. Six points, bro. Six points. That's it. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Two massive games after this too, Paddy. The Queensland versus Fine. New South Wales derbies. Always extra spice in those ones. Yep, Set. looking forward to that. We can see the boys warming up on the backfield at the moment. Yeah, New South Wales 2 just behind us. There's Western Australia. Go to that left-hand side. Barsby throws the cut out to Kapu. He's tackled but not held, so gets up and goes again. And Apu, Barsby with the cutouts. And Holland helping it out in that tackle, held up as the for more. Comes good. Knock on. It's a more by WA. The pressure now. And Apu, they're just asking the referee why the Brumbies player didn't have to release. The referee explaining that it wasn't more and therefore he didn't have to release the brought in turn to release the ball. Oh, yeah. So not too long to go in this match, Marty, and do you think the ACT can get that crucial fourth try? Fine. Yes, no. Take that as a yes. <laughs> so what, as I said, Marty, do you think the ACT can score that crucial fourth try? Well, if, there's, if there's anything that we've seen from the ACT, they seem to shine in these final moments of the games. They scored three tries in the final ten minutes yesterday. And, of course, in the, in the first game as well, coming from behind to beat the Queensland one. Crouch! So, Paddy, in answer to that, the answer is Fine. yes. I do believe they, they probably could get the, the extra try. <laughs> <laughs> Penalty to the ACT. That'll certainly help. So, kick is high. It's not out. Crucial. By Haddard, needed to make the line there. Now comes W.I. Barsby's hammered in the tackle, but gets the offload, he's good with that. He's done that a no, couple of times it. today, at crucial moments. Western Australia, good, quick hands. He's straightened. Ooh. Got to be careful, a bit of a lift more there. Pulled this here, is Patty. a big maul. One in, all in. They're going to find it very difficult to get that ball back, WA. We've seen the ACT, ACT side do that on more than one occasion. Well, that's what happens today. when you go. That was He went in high into contact there. I think that was Walker Smith. But Seven. Seven. We do see some super rugby teams use that as a tactic of a way to get the ball back is if the player is isolated to hold them up. And as you say, one in, all in. As the ACT look to go on attack. Maybe a set piece out the back here off the back of the scrum as the two number nines get a little bit a little bit testy there. They're having a discussion. Crouch. Fine. Yeah, big horse behind fine as well. Set. So Seamus Smith with the feed from the ACT. We go to the right. Backs are lining up out there. Here's LeFou. LeFou up. Slow ball. As they managed to get it away. Still good for the ACT. Crow gives it on to his man on the inside. Outside. Smith calling for the ball. You hear the ACT forward scrambling. 
And that is a penalty to Western Australian schools. They're still behind in this game. Carlo Tizano revving his boys up there. No, now, leave it. Taking it quickly. Western Australia, ooh, well tackled. Walker Smith. It's a couple extra metres. They go the short side, nothing on. And brought to ground eventually is Cono Sullivan. Barnsby drops it cold. He had a look at the defence. Here's an opportunity for the ACT, and they score. Oh, Isaac Crow spotted the opportunity and he's run away to score off the WA era and that has turned this game on its head, Marty Cambridge. That is the fourth try you were begging for, Paddy, to seal the bonus point victory and take them into the final on Saturday, the ACT. They are a fantastic story here at the Australian Schoolboys as we check the replay here. Unfortunately, the knock on from the WA fly half and as you said Isaac Crow shows some clean heels to jot under the post very happy with himself there as he throws the ball high up into the air so a kick for conversion to add the extras by Thomas Haddard So that's the conversion successful. And ACT now lead 31 points to 18. So I come here for the restart. Hasn't gone the 10. Of course, the kick not going the 10 gives the options to the team receiving the kick. Seamus Smith there opting for the scrum on halfway right in the centre. A pretty even split behind the scrum players on both the right and left hand side. Just a couple of minutes left in this day three class between WA and ACT. Seamus Smith feeds the scrum. And that's an excellent scrum there by the ACT and they keep that ball in hand. They go on that far right hand side and they've moved it well. Seamus Smith with the pass. They're just got to truck it up now and keep that ball. Smith. Oh, that's an excellent ball to Lachlan Lonigan. Crow's been fantastic for the ACT as Smith shows and goes next to the ruck. Ball still good for the ACT. No, yeah, it's a penalty to the ACT. And we could hear the referee there telling the WA player that he was off his feet and therefore can't play the ball. A little bit of push and shove there. 10 blue, not supporting body weight. So a kick for the corner. No more of that. Over the top, it's been spoiled by the WA. That could be a try. And it is well stolen. And the ACT have added the extras. So five tries to the ACT, and that 
Certainly secured that bonus point for them now. We'll just have a look at the replay. Lonigan with the good throw. Just Gets the tipped over the top. Great timing there to secure that ball. As not one of their rehearsed moves, Paddy, but <laughs> gets through gets the desired result. Haddard goes for the kick. Oh, and he's got it. That's fantastic work. So that will be full time. And the ACT doing very well, taking this match 36 points to 18. And the stats just coming up on your screens now, but comprehensive performance by the ACT. And uh, 36 points to 18, five tries to two, four conversions to one. One penalty goal to the Western Australia's two, and that late last try just adding some more hurt to the ACT. And uh, we'll have a look at some highlights in, in just a moment. As we look through some of the try highlights from this game. So we're just having a look at some of these highlights appear on your screen as you see some of the excellent work from the ACT backs and their forwards once again proving dominant. Um, and uh, again, they proved them their wares early on in the match with some excellent performance. Os Jimenez um, from the ACT, the fullback, Brendan, uh, one of the form players again. Um, you have to certainly back the ACT forwards who set up the the platform throughout the day and it's been an excellent effort by this ACT side throughout the championship and they are now through to the final of the Australian Schools Championship and certainly are looking like a team playing with confidence as you see some more highlights just pop up on the screen and that was another fantastic try there. That was Peter Lef Lefau and uh, they weren't afraid to have a go all game. We're seeing some excellent images here. And this is my favourite one, the charge down. Just an excellent little tap on the ball to score that try. So a solid effort. Not to be outdone, though. The Western Australians had a crack, and you can't fault their effort or commitment. Just a couple of errors at crucial times and a few defensive lapses uh, causing them to lose this match today. But certainly a side that showing that they're ready to roll. And uh, you can see some of their efforts just on the screen in front of you. Thanks to our production company here, Big Voice Media. And uh, another try, just jot it down. So we'll have a chat with Marty Cambridge, my co-commentator, who's made his way down onto the field. And he'll chat to Will Holland from St Edmunds College. As well as Brody McCaskill from Western Australia. We're just seeing the final try highlights from this game as the ACT have claimed this match 36 to 18. If you're just joining us live on rugby.com.au. And uh, that final, that try there by Isaac Crow. He was very enterprising in taking those points. So it was excellent work from both teams. And uh, the final try was just stolen like a, a thief in the night after this uh, throw from Lachlan Lonigan. Just got knocked down by a WA player as we head down now to Marty Cambridge, my co-commentator from rugby.com.au. Here with a very happy Will Holland from the ACT Schoolboys team. Will, through to the final, mate. You must be pretty happy with that. Yeah, you know, uh, the boys are pretty excited to get to that uh, big dance right at the end there on uh, Saturday. So. Yeah, more than, more than ecstatic, I guess. You guys needed a bonus point to guarantee that win. You got that fourth try, Isaac Crow just skipping through. You must have been pretty happy to see him go under the sticks. Yeah, mate, I was sitting on the sideline, nervous as a, uh, yeah, pretty nervous. 
um, that little hip hop dancer, you know, stepped through a few blokes, threads and needles and got under the uh, bar for a try and con uh, convinced us for that uh, game on Saturday against uh, hopefully one of the top teams in Pool A, I guess. Pretty good rugby pedigree in the family. Louis Holland, your brother, the, the captain of the Aussie Sevens team. Has he been in your ear this week giving you a few tips? No, nah, he's up uh, he's up north chasing a few buffalo at the moment. Um, he's uh, been on the messenger, but not really. So hopefully look forward to getting in contact to him um, after this game, yeah. And what's the plan now? You've got a recovery day tomorrow. And of course, the final on Saturday. What, what do you think you guys will be up to the next sort of 24-48? Oh, just make sure you get that recovery right. That's the most important thing. Looking forward to uh, Saturday. We need a... Uh, muscles and uh, bodies in tip-top shape, so head up to that pool and do a bit of recovery and get with it, I guess. Well, congratulations for the last three days, mate. We look forward to seeing you guys on Saturday. Yeah, cheers for that. We also have Brody McCaskill here from the WA side. Brody, thanks for joining us, mate. Tough result out there, but the ACT boys were very good. Yeah, ACT boys, eh? they really gave it a good go out there. We knew it would be a tough game. We just knew how to come out, be aggressive, and just try our hardest eh, to get out there. You guys have had not the results you would have been after in the first three games, but you've been in every single game. You're also very yeah. happy with the boys' effort and proud of proud of their energy. Uh, yeah, the, especially from after the first game, I'm um, losing to New South Wales by 40. Um, we knew we had to pick up from the next game and show what we really had and how, how good we can really play, so it was good. You spent the week out here at St Ignatius. Has it been part of that development of your rugby career, being involved in this more professional kind of setup, and you know, seeing how a lot of the other teams and players get get around this sort of week? Yeah, it's uh, it's really good. Eh? Also, it's just to meet the other boys from the other teams, it's good. Um, just to learn your position and uh, you know, better improve yourselves for other games to come and the future of rugby. Eh? You'll have one more game on Saturday against Victoria. You must be looking forward to to playing that final game and hopefully finishing with a positive note. Yeah, so uh, we'll go into that game, recover well, and just hope we get a win. Eh? Thanks very much. We'll see you on Saturday. Cheers. Thanks. And don't go anywhere here at rugby.com.au. We have the Queensland 1 side up against New South Wales 2. Always a bit of extra spice when they come up with that border competition. Rugby.com.au and uh, Marty's thoughts up here in commentary. Always appreciate it. He's knocked over a couple of interviews there for us. So the final score here in this match between the ACT and WA was the ACT 31 defeating the Western Australian school side 18 and you've been listening to us live on rugby.com.au across all our channels and thank you very much for joining with us but don't go away there's plenty of action coming up we've got the big New South Wales Queensland derby as Marty uh, alluded to just then we've got New South Wales 2 taking on Queensland 1 and don't go away here live on rugby.com.au